Good morning and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into whether the Artemis patches are still working in the RPPCS3 emulator. Some comments on yesterday's video suggested they might not be, but we're here to put that theory to the test. Let's get started. The first thing I would do is get the correct version of the game and the current PPU to ensure they are compatible with the cheats listed on Aldo's cheat database. Links will be in the description. Please follow along. Launch the RPCS3 emulator and let the game load to the start menu. Once you reach the start screen, close the emulator. Navigate to the folder where rpcs3.exe is located and find the rpcs3.log file. This file contains all the necessary information to create the patch file, such as the PPU and game version. Scroll down until you find the title of the game and the serial number. The most important detail here is the version number, as it determines which cheats are needed for the game. In the case of Hardcore Uprising, as shown in the video, we have version equals 01.01 .01 of the game, not v1.00. Let's create the patch file step by step. I chose the anchor format because it simplifies the process for me with numerous small codes. However, you can use the standard version too, depending on your preference. Moving on, in my latest patch versions, I've been including the full game description along with the version number. This helps ensure compatibility with your game version. If you notice any differences, the cheat may not work. I recommend adopting this practice to avoid any headaches. Next, change the anchor desk to match the game you're creating patches for. After that, scroll down until you find the PPU hash for the game in the log file. Note, if you've run multiple games, ensure you verify that you have the correct serial number for the game you're working on. Once identified, copy the PPU hash to the PPU line in the patch file. You can now close the log as you're done with it. Now it's time to get the cheat from Aldo's place. Enter so the serial amazing. number in the search bar and locate the game you have. For instance, I have version 1.01, .01, so those are the cheats I'm looking for. Looking at the codes at the top with the number 6 in front, these are called point write addresses. The RPCS3 emulator doesn't support these code types. Instead, you need to find codes with a 0 in front, which are byte write codes or use ASM cheats, which will also work. If you find that the codes have AOB, Array of Bytes patterns, you can use these to verify the addresses using Cheat Engine. Simply search for the AOB pattern in Cheat Engine, and it should direct you to the correct address, as demonstrated in the video. Now it's time to check if the cheats are compatible.
Copy the AOB string to Notepad, then open Cheat Engine. Attach the process and ensure you have the correct process match at the top, as shown in the video. Change the search type to Array of Bytes, then take the first line of the code and paste it in the search bar. Once done, hit First Scan. It should only take a few seconds to find the address. e.g. 409513C is the code found. Now, go back to the list of cheats. And you'll see that DRON has the same cheat. Copy the cheats to Notepad. Now it's time to finish the patches for this game and test if they are working in RPCS3 2024. You need to add the correct syntax to the address. In the front of the code in column 5, place BE320X. Then, at the end of the first set of numbers, add GO0X. Finally, after the last set, place that's the code format you'll need. Once you've added all the cheats you want, save the file and name it importedpatch.yml. Place it in the patches folder located where your rpcs3.exe is. If you have a file with multiple games, go to the last line of that file in column 1 and paste the cheat there. Save the file, launch the emulator, right-click on the game, then manage cheats, and select the ones you want to test. If done correctly, the cheats should be working. If you encounter any issues, don't hesitate to reach out. I've set up a Discord server where you can get help. Links to everything in this video will be at the bottom. Please like and share if you found this information helpful. Until next time, take care.
finish it soon. Warning. 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 Warning.